Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 1 of my new Civilization 5 game. This time I will be playing on Archipelago map. I decided to pick a different map type just to make this game slightly different than my previous one with the Inca. I'm still going to play on Emperor level. I don't feel quite ready to move up to Immortal just yet. Maybe next game, we'll see. And I will be playing as Austria. I'm actually quite curious how the diplomatic marriage special ability Austria has Noble will play out on archipelago type map. Teresa, it should be quite good. It's already People pretty damn good overall, but Following the death it of should go well with Charles archipelago VI, type map. You ascended to the throne of Austria during a time of great instability. So, but let's get started as soon as it military. finishes loading. Alright, let's have a look. That's not a bad location. Well, it could have been better. Oh, there's actually a river here. I didn't see that at first. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. Let's settle here. So, the first priority is exploring my island and starting to explore other islands around me. Since obviously this is archipelago map, so there won't be massive continents here. This should actually kind of uh, prevent the situation where one AI will get massively ahead of everyone else. At least it will make it harder for one AI to spread to one massive continent like Napoleon did in my previous game. Obviously it will also make it harder for me to conquer other civilizations. But we'll see how it plays out. It actually won't be all that bad now when you can actually capture cities with ships. It used to not be possible back in the day. Yeah, this is dead end. I hope my starting island is actually at least somewhat big. <laughs> and I can fit more than two cities here. I guess I'm about to find out. Might be a bit pointless building a scout here. If this island is small, there's no point wasting time for a scout. I'm not quite sure what's my plan going to be with the social policies yet. But I think I'm going to go for liberty. For fast expansion. Alright, so I'm going to grab Monument, I guess. I hope this island is going to be at least somewhat big. I didn't want to waste time for that scout. So hopefully that was worth it. Pottery is almost done. So, actually, let's have a look at the technology tree. I guess I should grab optics as soon as possible, so I can cross the water tiles. Do I need mining? I don't, at least not right now, not until I grab this silver resource. I actually only need animal husbandry right here. So I'm going to grab that. Might be good knowing where horses are, I guess. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be a small island. So I kind of wasted time making that scout. And nice! First city-state. That's going to be useful. I'm probably going to bribe it as soon as I can. The general plan for the first 100 turns or so is meeting all the other civilizations and, and exploring as soon as I can. Hopefully I will be able to explore a bit before I can cross the ocean hexes. And another city-state, awesome! This island is actually bigger than I thought it would be. I was a bit afraid it's going to end right here. Oh, Alexander is on my island. Hmm. 
I might have to conquer him early on. I don't want other civilizations on my island. Definitely not. He wants to pay me for embassy. Yeah, I'm actually going to take that. Why not? I can always use some extra gold. But yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to have to conquer him. Like I said, I don't want other civ... Oh, that was not the move I wanted to make. I don't want other civilizations on my island. And Alexander is generally quite aggressive. So if I don't start war with him, I have a feeling he will start war with me sooner or later. Alright, I don't need trapping right now. So, I'm kind of tempted to just beeline for optics. Do I need plantations? No, I don't need plantations either. So I might just beeline for optics right now. I usually don't do that, but this is archipelago map, obviously, so this is going to be quite important. Let's do it. Hopefully I won't regret that. And getting some workboats might be nice as well for these whales. So sailing will actually be useful. I can make two workboats as soon as I'm done with sailing. I'm actually quite uh, lucky that I got two whales right next to my starting location. Looks like this island might be actually quite big. So maybe that scout wasn't wasted after all. Yeah, this is his capital, I guess. I'll definitely have to conquer it. But I need to start the city somewhere here before he grabs this location. I'm going to piss him off if I start the city right here, but if I don't, he's going to do that himself. So I'm going to go straight for Settler right now, actually. The AI won't declare war on the very early turns. Yeah. He's going to be really pissed off when I start a CD here. Can I actually do that? Actually, no, I can't. Because the city state is a bit too close. Yeah. Okay. So I can only start one more city from the looks of it? Maybe two more cities. If I start one right here, but no. I want city on the river, not on this ship. But if I start city on the ship, I won't be able to start another one. Because these city states are a bit too close. Yeah. I can't fit two cities here. The only way I can fit two cities here would be starting one city on this ship right here and then starting the next city here, but that would be a really terrible location. I'm just going to go for this river hex. That's going to be a pretty good one. It kind of sucks losing one city, but I prefer having one good city than two crappy cities. And I really don't want to miss out on having a city on the river. Right, so like I said, I'm going to grab Liberty. Although I'm having some second thoughts right now. I don't really need the free settler. Well, the only way I can really use the free settler from Liberty is if I can get to another island without having to cross ocean tiles. And I don't know that yet. So it's a bit of a gamble going for Liberty right now. I'm not sure about that. Right, I think I'm going for it anyway. Let's go for it. It is a bit of a gamble. So I hope it will pay off. Wasted Settler would be really bad. But by the time I get free settler, I should be done with optics. And then I can explore around a little bit.
I need to keep an eye on Alexander though. I wouldn't want to get surprised with the war. But if he does declare on me, I don't think he'll do that before turn 60, 70 or so. Any quests in these cities? No. Not yet. I'm probably going to annex both of these using diplomatic marriage in some future, once I can afford it. I'm definitely going to annex Quebec City. That's a pretty good location. Well, that's it on this island. So Alexander can feed two more cities here. Sailing is done, very nice. Oh, there's some more land this way. Interesting. I can't really get there without open borders though. And I can't get open borders right now. Seven turns for the settler. So I'm not quite sure what kind of victory I'm going to go for in this game. As you will most likely know if you watched my other games. I usually go for domination victory. But I don't know how that would work out on this kind of map. I guess I'll have to wait and see. I usually don't really decide what victory to go for until like at least 1-200 turns in. And this horse right next to my capital is actually quite convenient. It will definitely help conquering Alexander. And I do want to take his capital. Like I said, I don't want him on my island. Oh, hi barbarians. Would be nice getting a quest for the barbarian camp. From one of these cities. I need to bring my warrior over. I can't handle this just with the scout. Three turns for the settler. So like I said, I'm going to start the city on this river, right here. I could fit two cities here if I use the, this ship location, but I don't want to do that. Having a city on this hex would be just really crappy city, to be honest. I have. And I really hope I'll be able to get to some other islands without having to use ocean tiles and the settler is ready so one worker will, will be enough on this island to be honest i don't think i'm going to build more workers i'm going to go straight for the workboats to grab these two whales i should probably get some more units Come on, move it. Yeah, by the time optics research is done, I should be able to get rid of this camp. And I'll need to get wheel to actually connect this city with the road. 
that's going to be the next research target probably. I need to think about what kind of wonders I might want to grab. I didn't actually play this kind of map seriously before. I usually play continents type maps. So now the only spot left, yeah, this one and this one. The city-states are a bit too close to start any other city on this side of Athens. So I should be somewhat safe from Alexander for now, at least he won't be pissed off that I'm settling close to him. This is a bit too far from Athens to get a diplomatic penalty. And so much for this camp. Oh nice, I got some influence with Quebec City, so now I can bribe them and ally them. Nice, very nice. How much gold do I actually need for diplomatic marriage? 515. Alright, that's not too bad. I'll probably do that once I can afford it. This is a pretty nice location. Oh, that was close. I almost lost my warrior. An instrument and optics research is done. Very nice. Now I need to explore a little bit. So... I'm actually going to build a ship. Probably won't be terribly useful, but if I can get some kills on the ship, I could start getting the Great Admiral points. If I can get Great Admiral early on, I'm going to do that. Since that's the only early unit that can cross ocean tiles. Which would be very helpful to meet other civilizations. But first, I kind of need the wheel to connect my second city with the road. I need to move these units away. I'll just finish off this warrior with my city. I want to start exploring fast. But I'm going to heal this warrior first. My worker will be unemployed soon. Let's heal up. I'm not waiting to heal since I really want to see whether I can get to the other islands or not. So I'm actually going to move this scout as well. And yeah, this looks like another island. Hopefully. Not just a small patch of land. Let's have a look. Oh, another civilization, Gingis Khan, okay. There might not be enough room for a city here then. And I got another policy. I guess I'm going to go straight for the extra settler. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. I can't say I like having the Mongols close to me. I seem to get Mongols a lot near my starting locations in most of the games I play. Actually, looks like I can start another city here. Might be a good idea doing that. Because I have a feeling I'll have to deal with the Mongols 
Early on. Yeah, let's grab some money from him. So yeah, I'm going to send the next settler somewhere here to start on the dead city. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to, no problem. So I need to do that before he grabs this location. It will probably piss him off, but I can defend this easily. It's close enough to my capital. So let's explore some more. And my ship is ready as well, I'm going to send it the other direction, I guess. And I think there's a shore right here. Yeah, this is a coast. And I think this only appears near land. I guess I'll find out on the next turn. Actually, I'm going to grab shrine. I need to get my pantheon and religion later on. I'm not quite sure what my plan is going to be with religion yet. We'll see about that. But I can't say I'm excited about having two aggressive civilizations start this close to me. Well, that was a bit of a wasted move. Okay, let's have a look down here. Yep, there's another island down here. Two islands even. Very nice. I need to grab these ruins and fast before someone else grabs them. So I'll just send my scout there, I guess. It looks like my warrior is going to be unemployed soon. I can't start the road yet. I need three more turns for that. Oh, I discovered a wonder. What? Oh, this one, this right here. The Grand Mesa, nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder if I can start a decent city over here. Looks like I might be able to. I'm going to keep this warrior right here. Maybe it will discourage him from sending a settler. We'll see. If I can stop him from starting second city here, that, that will be good. Since, like I said, I want to grab this location myself. I do think this is his capital. Probably. Right, one more turn and I can start the road. Now I need to get over here with one of my units. To grab these ruins. Maybe I'll get free technology from that. That would help a lot. But I need to go around, unfortunately, since this is a hex, an ocean hex right here. And I can't cross that. Alright, let's see what the next research goal is going to be. I guess I need to grab mining, since I'll need this silver sooner or later. That's only three turns anyway. Alright, so... I'll grab another workboat since... I need one more for the whales. And let's start the road. So this is not a bad starting location so far. The only problem might be the two aggressive civilizations close to me. But I'll just conquer them. And yeah, he is sending a settler over here. So we'll see if I can discourage him from starting a city. Using my warrior. Probably not, but I can try. Looks like I need to go the other way. This should be a pretty good location for a city right here. Free fish, salt, deer. Not bad at all. I think I'm going to make this my third city. Yeah, the Mongols started a city over here. Oh well, it was worth a try. But it's probably less optimal than it could have been if I didn't have my warrior here. So maybe that was a bit helpful after all. Alright, let's grab these ruins. 
and hope I will get something nice out of them. So, what about this city? I don't think I need more workers right now. So I'll just grab a granary to make it grow a bit faster. Do I need anything else for the improvements? Not right now, I don't. I don't need trapping for anything here, do I? Nope. So, let's see. Hmm, I'm not too sure what to go for right now. Maybe I should go for philosophy and get the national college early on. I think I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to grab calendar and then philosophy. Would be nice getting national college before turn 100 or so. Almost there. And another city-state. And it has gold. That's the only gold I can see in the area. I'm actually going to grab another settler here. How many turns before I get the free one? Seven turns. Then I can get a free settler from collective rule. But I can use at least two more settlers. One city here and one city here. This is not the best city location ever. But this natural wonder isn't too bad. I can get some extra gold from that. This might be just a decent gold city, I suppose. I might just use this location purely for a gold city. Oh, what did I do? Why did I move two hexes to the right? That was fail. I should have landed here and grabbed these ruins. Right. It's time to start my pantheon, so... I'm actually going to finish this part here and think about my pantheon. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.